Hey y'all, it's J Rhymes here, back at it again with another video. Before we get started with this video, can you like, comment, and subscribe? That would mean a lot. Uh, I really just want to hear what you guys have to say. Before we get started with this video, though, uh, let's thank God um, for waking us up this day um, and giving us another chance to change and grow and better ourselves. Amen. So. The video is, this video is going to be particularly, if you read down at the description and the title, it's going to be, why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid of change? Why are you so afraid of uh, being social? Why are you so afraid to accomplish your dreams? Why are you so afraid to be yourself? Why are you so afraid in general as a whole? What are you afraid of? Um, and we're going to get into depth about that because I have fear and I've been holding myself back this year and last year and the year before that. And, you know, uh, you know, we all say, you know, uh, the resolution, right? The genuine, the, the new year resolution. Oh, we're going to, we're going to change this. We're going to change that. And then, you know, halfway in the year, we're still stuck where we are. Um, and that's perfectly fine, but it's also like, what is stopping us from making these big changes and big accomplishes, uh, accomplishments and um, all that type of stuff. In my mind, uh, fear is, uh, it's subconscious because I know not to be afraid, but yet your body just goes into like panic mode. It's like, ah, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't do this, I can't do that. And, and if you uh, watch my other video, we talked about self-worth and I feel like that has a correlation, fear and self-worth and, and acceptance and all that stuff has a correlation that ties in together. Um, but I realized that I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of transformation. Let's just say that transformation um, equaling change. So anything that has to do with a big amount of change and transformation, um, in a good way or a negative way, I'm scared of. Uh, I think the fear comes from just me um, growing up as a kid and always moving around and always um, being uprooted from uh, places I was. Um, I'm scared of losing something. I'm scared of not particularly losing myself, but losing um, the foundation that I once had. And I think foundation is a very, um, is a very big part to why we why we get afraid because honestly like foundation is the, the the key like i feel like a lot of people like they like to control their foundation uh i am one of them i like to i like to feel like i have control over my surroundings and the people i'm around not not saying that i like to have control over people but just saying i like to know where i am and, and that it's a steady foundation um and I think that's why a lot of people are afraid is because, especially of change, because change is unknown. You don't know. Like, it's basically like Russian roulette every time because you don't know um, if that's going to be good for you or not until you actually take that movement. And I think a lot of people are scared to fall on their face instead of realizing that sometimes you have to take risk in life. And risk, um, the word risk is not always negative. I think that we have a negative connotation on the word risk and um, change because a lot of people say, you know, make change seem like so dreadful. And I don't think it's that way. I think it's just however you perceive it. But your perception can also be an illusion. Like I realized certain places I was at were probably, probably proper for me to be in. I just didn't like it. And I, ch I changed that course of route. Um, and then I ended up in a negative um, spot because um, I couldn't accept that that um, that was the route I was supposed to go in because I was so scared and afraid of that change um, that I was pushing everything away. So I think that's also why people push things away is because they're scared of um, initiating um, that that raw emotion in them. Um, a lot of people when you, you when you move or you do something big you kind of have to um surrender your own emotion and not saying 100 percent, but you have to surrender um that fear in order to keep pushing on 
Um, if you let the fear block you, you're not going to move, you know, further. It's going to be like you hit a wall. And then that's when people say they feel stuck. Um, and we'll go into that stuck feeling later on um, in the course of these videos. But I think that being afraid is a natural feeling. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about, especially like um, our young adults and stuff like that, about that it's a normal feeling of being afraid of um, yourself and other people and whatever not, especially since we had COVID, a lot of people are very, just like, we, we've been untrained to be social. We forgot how that feels. Um, and when we're put in, in, in these, these social society listic spots, we kind of don't even know what to, um, perceive anymore because, you know, for the longest we've been, you know, cooped up in a house and we've been, um, kind of listening to our own narrative. So everybody's a little bit abrasive with, um, how they feel. Everybody's a little bit more sensitive, irritable about how, um, they feel and they're not open-minded and i think that's what i'm trying to tell you like start trying to be open-minded about the people you encounter also start being observant about the people you encounter because i feel like once you open those two um frames up in your mind you will see that that um this is the the this is the the right spot for you is this is not the right spot for you i couldn't discern um for the longest time when i was in the 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 living situation I was in, um, I couldn't discern for a long time. I kind of just believed my own narrative. I believed what everybody else was saying, and I kind of went with the flow. Going with the flow is not always bad. That's 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 um, that's fluidity. But I feel like going with the flow and not being able to discern if it's negative or positive um, is bad, because once you once you realize that you're in a negative spot, that puts fear on you on how to get out of that situation, which then makes you afraid of you know accomplishing um other things in your life um if people have put fear on you why have you allowed them um in my case i allowed people to put fear on me in so many different ways because i i naturally you know never really you know i looked good but i i, I was a i was a nerd um and uh i was very you know just to myself quiet little kid and um, I didn't really have a, a voice of my own. I, I, I couldn't stick up for myself. So I got bullied a lot in school. And that, that, that changed the narrative of who I am to this day. Um, it's easy for me to believe other people's narrative because I got bullied so hard um, in school. And I've been working on that and trying not to believe other, people narr other people's narrative, but to believe my own. Um, and not saying just believe your own, but just believe my own in, in the sense of I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am, I can accomplish success, I am successful, I am this and this and that. Um, believe my own narrative instead of what other people put on me, like you're never going to go anywhere, you're never going to go far, you, you know, you, you should stick right here. Um, and I think that that's what built up the, the fear in me because I couldn't, um, I couldn't. I couldn't justify why um, everything was going the way it was at the time. And I felt like what they said was true. You know what I mean? What they said was true. And I think when somebody says something and not saying it's fully coming true, but when it comes true, you kind of, you kind of go into um, a mindset of, well, I guess this is all I am. You know what I mean? And then that puts the fear, that, that puts the fear onto I'm never gonna get anywhere. I'm behind. Like for me, for instance, I'm 21 years old, but I'm not at the level as everybody else. And I think that's what puts the fear on us. We're so young, but yet we're trying to juggle a thousand milestones all at once. And I feel like we're comparing ourselves to a lot of people in life because of Instagram, social media, and whatever not, um, that we that we can't, that we get we, we, we get put in fear because of it, because we're not at the level that we feel like we're supposed to be at. And I think a lot of people um, feel like this and they don't really talk about it. Uh, I know I definitely do and still do, um, but I'm working out of that narrative um, and coming into, I'm, I'm at the right spot at the right time, you know, type of thing. But if you feel like you are trying to catch up, stop doing that. Like, 
stop doing that because at the end of the day everybody's route is different everybody's route is different just because your friend is doing one thing and you're not doing that particular thing because society says it's good doesn't mean it's meant for you because god will put you there if you were meant to do it the universe would put you there if you were meant to do it but you're meant to do something else and yes you might not know what you're meant to do and that might put fear onto you and that might make you afraid but like you literally just have to like not overthink that because now you're overthinking somebody else's objective instead of your own you're thinking about what other people are doing so much that you're not focusing on yourself which make it is making you be put in a deeper hole because you're not you're not aligning with um your true colors you know what i mean it's like you're trying to go into yellow but god's really telling you to go into blue um but you're opening the yellow door every single time and it's not it's not it's not meant for you um and so I think learning how to observe yourself and observe others also helps you to not be afraid because once you know yourself, I feel like this is where I'm at right now. Once you know yourself a little bit more every day and you start growing and whatever not, your fear subsides. Like you're not as afraid of what happens on the day to day um, because naturally you're just living for the now. You're living for this moment. You're living for, um, this growth process um and so it's 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 easier said than done trust me but if you take like these little things into count uh into consideration you will realize that how much you've been um putting the fear on yourself like i realized how much baggage i put on myself like when i was uh to this day people say um i'm too hard on myself and I always look at them and I'm like, how am I hard on myself? But I know how hard I am on myself. It just doesn't seem hard because I'm putting it on myself. And then I feel that, 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 that pain and that drain uh, feeling. I feel it all. And it's like, why am I doing that to myself? Like genuinely, why? Like why am I doing that to myself? I'm doing it because of other people's expectations of fear that I'm not going to accomplish anything and I'm not going to be successful. But like success is just like like people. Success is just like love. It's fluid. Success has so many different ways of looking and you might create a different success than somebody else, but that doesn't make you any less than. Um, for me, I'm very free spirited and I don't really like societalistic ways. Um, I kind of want to start something organic for myself and that that might be creating a business that I, you know, be creating this channel and, 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 and getting it to, to the way it needs to be. Um, or that, that might be anything. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm not like being afraid. Like I need to figure out this moment. I used to be like that. I used to be like that a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago. I was like that. And I'm still, you know, swaying back and forth but i'm figuring out that it's not as serious as i was making it to seem uh or to be um so i don't want you to do that i kind of just want like if you take anything out of this video just be yourself and stop being afraid of judgment because judgment is an illusion and judgment of any man is not just so at the end of the day it doesn't even matter the only judgment that matters is and you what you think of yourself, how you can improve yourself. But don't be hard on yourself either. Either You have to, like, I was talking in the car with my boyfriend and we were talking about balance and I was like, everything has to be equally yoked. Everything has to be equally balanced. So you could be hard on yourself, but don't tip over this hard. Come back to here. And every time you start tipping over, realize that you are just the way you are. And that's, that's just how it is. Um, I used to be all the way over here and I would stay there for a long time and it would be so hard to pick myself back up, but you gotta pick yourself back up if you really wanna, you know, make real change. Um, and you gotta know your negative flaws. And I think that's another people, uh, another thing that people are afraid of is, is knowing their flaws. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid that you make mistakes. Don't be afraid of that people see your mistakes because if people didn't see your mistakes they couldn't change either like as a kid you know you used to see that person get detention for what they did 
and you you watch their experience you realize that's not something i want to do because i don't want to be in detention now so you know people have to make mistakes for other people to change as well but then you have to change yourself as well as well because i think i've made a lot of mistakes in front of people um i showed my my negative side sometimes and i think that that also showed people you know i don't want to be like that you know what i mean um and the opposite side came to me where you know there was people acting crazy um and it just showed me not of what i didn't want in my life um and everybody's trying and i think that's that's another thing never stop trying like i i i am a hypocrite for saying that because sometimes i want to stop trying i think everybody does though but never stop trying for yourself don't try for others. I mean, try for others, you know, be be kind, be there, be present, but really try for yourself. Because it will, you will see a difference once you start trying for yourself and you start doing things that actually make you happy. Um, start change, because I feel like the chain, it's like a chain reaction. Like when you start changing for yourself, it will roll onto other people, which then will roll onto, you know, anything in your life. And it kind of will just like, be a chain reaction break the change and rebuild rebuild yourself because all the karma that you have on yourself is not particularly your your own i mean you put karma on yourself but we all have karmic cycles um we all have karmic family cycles that are just embedded in our genes and it's whether you change yourself to be better than what you were told you was always going to be that could have been negative and that could have been positive. I don't, I don't know your story, but if somebody put, you know, said that you're just going to be a homeless person and you're you're always just going to be a drug addict and you're always going to be this and, and, and that's it, they already cast you out. They already doubted you. So they don't matter no more. What, ha what now matters is your opinion. Whether you're going to let their definition of who you are define you. Um, and I think that's it for this video. Um, before we leave this video, I just want to say thank you to whoever. But I can't talk today. God damn. Sorry. I just want to say thank you for whoever's watching this video today. It's a beautiful day. Get outside. Get that vitamin D. Um, drink water. Eat healthy. Live life to the fullest. And like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much. And don't be afraid. Like, I know it's hard. But try to lessen that for yourself. Because I feel like I'm talking to somebody in, in this video. And somebody's very afraid of, of, um, of moving forward. I'm afraid of it too, but... We just got to keep going and, and realize that life is not about fear. That's what they want you to think. That's what the government puts in our mind, that everything has to be a fear tactic. But in reality, this world was never supposed to be that way. And so we can't put that fear on us. We just have to live life to the fullest and live it the way we, we want to live it. Not what everybody else wants for us. Yeah. So peace.